What up guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a 5M server using one of our VPSs. So if you don't already have one, purchase a VPS on our website. And yeah, let's get into it. So let's drag our VPS over. This is a custom background on it. It's a different rocket node background on the default one, but here we go. So the first thing you wanna do is install a few base programs that includes WinRAR, Notepad++, and uh yeah for a base server i think that's all we need oh and microsoft redistributable uh 2019 maybe i think any of these work all right yeah this should be fine okay let's agree i'll put links in the description so you don't have to do this but yeah so let's install this and then WinRAR as well. Let's get all these going. Yeah, these are like the base programs you need just to even like edit server files and stuff, install things. Let's do that. All right. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So now the first thing you want to do is just go to 5m.net, I believe. Create your own server. Uh, host your own server and setting up the server okay so we're gonna do this the easy setup guide um so let's get a windows server build latest recommended is what i recommend um let's go to we're gonna make it on this pc local disk uh make a folder called fx server like that i know you could put it on the desktop i just think this is the best way to do it even for management sake of it you could always make a shortcut we're going to copy all these files into that that we just downloaded perfect once that is done we're all we have to do is open it there's a fx server thing click it let that load Yeah, the one thing I hate about the recommended versions is they'll tell you it's recommended, but then they'll tell you it's outdated, but it doesn't matter. Always use this app unless you use the other one. Let's log into our account. I don't even know if I have an account. This might not work. Okay, I don't have an account. Actually... Let me just log in with Google. I apologize about this. That's the one thing I hate about this installer is you have to log in. There we go. Continue. Okay. So now you make a backup password. You can make it whatever you want. I'm just going to make it a password that I use. There you go. All right. So we're going to click next. Server name. We'll put test server. Deployment type, we're going to use a popular recipe, but if this is a game server, which is not a VPS, use existing server data or else it's going to be a disaster trying to get your files. But we're going to do popular recipe. We'll just do CFX default, uh, save, start, next. Now we have to make a license key. Let's go to keymaster.5m.net, sign in. All right, let's make a new server. Display name, we'll put, I don't know, server. Initial server IP address, 135.148.25.236. Server type, VPS. Um, you could put RN, rocket node, whatever. Generate. All right, so key, we're going to copy this key that we have. There you go. That's my key if you want it. <laughs> Paste it there and run recipe. So it just pops up with our folder for the recipe. These are what we're going to edit to add resources at the server.cfg. Here it shows it's completed successfully. So there's nothing much for us to change here since we're just doing a base server. Uh, you could put one sync in if you want, which I recommend. So that's just set one sync on. You just add that into your CFG. But before we run the server, we need to open the firewall ports. So we're going to look up on our VPS, Windows Server, oh wait, Windows Firewall, 
um, with, all right, this is fantastic. All right, yeah. If you look up Windows Fire, apparently it comes up. Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Uh, we need to make some inbound and outbound rules. This is a pain, but it's pretty fast. So we're basically going to need to do the same thing four times. So we're going to do port 30120, uh, comma, space 4120. I'm just going to copy this so we could paste it when we do it the other three times. Allow, and then just name it 5M. Or same thing, but this time put UDP, same thing, 5M. Then we go over here and do it, TCP again. But now you have to click allow the connection because it defaults to block. 5M again. And then last time is going to be a UDP outbound rule. There we go. And now we're literally all port forwarded. So much easier than doing it on a home host. So, yeah. Now we click save and run server. Look how great this is. Perfect. So, Yarn is going to run. Once Yarn installs, then your chat resource is going to load. That's just how it works. But, yeah. I mean, now we could you know, connect to the server. Oh, I almost did that on my VPS. I don't have 5M on my VPS. But yeah, before we connect to the server, one thing I want to go over is if you have any resources, you could put them here or you could start them there. This is where you could edit the CFG. Let's just do a test resource just for the sake of so you know how to do it. Um, so we're going to just do a vehicle delete uh, 5M script let's see all right sure this will delete all vehicles that are not uh all right well i don't want this because i need to set up permissions all right nope that's not okay well whatever we tried <laughs> let's see Automatic. No, why can't I just get a normal script? Um, screw it. We'll just install vmenu. And hey, if you want vmenu, now you know how to install vmenu. So, go, gonna go to releases, install the zip, and uh, now we're just gonna slam this thing in resor resources. We're gonna make a new folder called uh, vmenu, exactly how I did it. And we're gonna drag these files in. Once that's done, we go back, server.cfg, edit, so easy, and then ensure vmenu. Exactly how it was spelt and capitalized in the file, in the folder, I mean. Now, all we do is re restart the server, and that will be there. And that's literally how you add scripts, unless they have SQLs, like for ESX, and you have to import those, but that's, that's a, like, a different video. All right, so let this restart. You, you should even see it start here. Like, there we go. Creating script environments for menu. It's set to ignore permissions because we didn't execute the permissions.cfg just because I'm trying to show you how to install basic scripts. But uh, yeah, so now let's connect to it. Let's open up 5M. Oh man. I think it's going to default to my other monitor. So, but let me see if I can move this over. Let's see. All right, cool. This should work. All right. So now we are going to take our VPS IP and we're just going to do F8 connect space 135 dot or whatever your IP is. Let's get in there. Sorry for that. Let me get that off desktop audio because that's annoying. Yeah, so basically it's it's really easy. If you want your server to show up in a server list, you just have to like set the project name and stuff, which you could do in the CFG. But since this is a test server, I'm not going to have it displayed publicly because it's pointless. But yeah, let this load. take a minute but yeah oops sorry 
Now let's go in. Oh, look, it's already having us in. Of course, we didn't put a loading screen in, but, you know, this is how a base 5M server is. I don't know if that's just me, but that sounds like default GTA music. That was interesting. All right, so now we're in. There you go, and you got your V-Mini. So, yeah, guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Join our Discord for more support, and, yeah, hope your server is great. Have a good one.